Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Patia. Are you looking for a nice quiet beach to go for a day out? Today we are here to check out the most beautiful beach on the eastern seaboard. It's not very well known but that is a good thing because on most days it is a very quiet beach. There are a few activities here and the entrance fee is only 20 baht. This is the Nangram Beach, also known as Ha Nang Lam. It is at the Satahip Navy Base. So come on, let's check out this wonderful, amazing beach. About 45 minutes drive south of Pattaya is Ha Nang Lam Beach, located on Royal Thai Navy land. This beach is open to the public. It's known as the most beautiful beach on the eastern seaboard of Thailand, with beautiful white sands and clear blue sea. The beach is around 300 meters long. There's a large parking area and several restaurants, offering delicious fresh seafood, as well as Thai and international food. There are many activities to enjoy, such as kayaking, banana boat rides, snorkel rental, and even snorkeling trips out to the best coral areas. Snorkeling trips cost 300 baht per person. You'll be taken out into the middle of the bay in a glass-bottomed boat to swim alongside the fish whilst enjoying the beautiful view of the underwater corals. Nang Lam Beach is a popular spot for Thais at the weekend and on long holidays, but during the week it's very quiet and relaxing. Kayaking costs only 60 baht for 30 minutes, or 100 baht per hour. There's a little deserted island located a couple of hundred meters away. Entrance is prohibited, however you can still explore by kayaking around the island. If you're into sightseeing, there are several statues of characters of the Thai literature, including Pra Apaimani. With an entrance fee of only 20 baht per car, it's certainly a must-visit place if you're looking to sit back and relax with beautiful views, white sands and crystal clear waters. A little paradise just minutes away from Pattaya City. Coming up next, Patia Mail, taking you on a road trip. La Costa by L'Italiano is a stunningly beautiful Italian restaurant offering traditional pizzas, pastas, and authentic Italian cuisine, alongside fresh seafood and the best dishes from Thailand, too. Twelve years in Pattaya, La Costa by L'Italiano promises an outstanding lunch or dinner experience. Find us on Beach Road at the front of the LK Empress Hotel next to Soy 12. Check us out on Facebook, La Costa by L'Italiano, Pattaya's premier Italian restaurant. Hey, trouble, trouble is Everybody, Jeff Gart is still in uh, Koh Samui in Thailand, and today I'm going to show you this place, the Jungle Club. It's right up in the mountains there, right? Motorbike or maybe a four x four will get you up there. I won't try in a normal car. It's dead steep. It's like that. But when you get up there, the views are to die for, and it's a really nice place. So. I'm going to get on my bike now and I'll show you. Beep, beep. I'm going to show you the Jungle Club. There it is. Boom. There it is. Look how steep that is. So when you get to the top, there's a car park here for bikes and uh, cars, 4x4s, etc. 
and then you just got to walk up the lane a little bit um, and then you'll see how fantastic it is now then if you've got a few bob you can stay here but I don't think it'll be cheap to stay here at night because it's all nice and relaxed this man here cleaning up hiya mate you okay you okay good lad keeping the place nice and clean brushing all the leaves up right then this is your main chill out area with your bar and restaurants just sit here chill out eat food and have a drink look at that nice big rocks there and then just soft furnishings yeah. Look at this. All chilled out. Look at that, there you've got uh, Choeng Lake, and then you've got the, uh, the big bay there, look. You can hire one of them for yourselves if you want sitting there with all your mates and then if you're a resident here you can use the infinity pool all lovely and relaxed so there you go that's the jungle club right up in the mountains uh, in between uh, Chaweng and Lamai Beach dead easy to find there's big signs everywhere so that's it for that one then okay then catch you soon and keep smiling. Hey, trouble, trouble and strife. It's wait and see for police investigating the murder of a karaoke girl in the middle of Thailand. Her body was discovered at the weekend, severed in two. Three of the suspects fled to Burma before being caught, but only have seven-day passes. So, with any luck, they'll be back here and arrested soon. Reasons for the killings vary according to sources. However, the most likely is that she was killed after giving police information on a drug-dealing boyfriend of a co-worker in the bar where she worked. The single arrestee so far, a woman, is likely to be released as she was nowhere near when the woman was killed, according to her lawyer. Security measures have been reinforced at all Thai airports after recent incendiary devices were discovered in the capital. Extra baggage checks, slightly longer queues in the interest of safety, and added security staff, all working to keep us safe, along with dog sniffer teams that are trained to recognize explosives. Globally, security is at an all-time high. It isn't just here. And in the UK, police are now teamed with armed soldiers in many prominent parts of London too. More and more waterfalls nationwide are closing to the public as stormwater makes them very dangerous. Yesterday saw a Malaysian father and his 10-year-old daughter drown at the Pui National Park despite attempts by his wife and others to save them. If you're booking a trip, check before you drive. One more illegal Brit has been discovered, this time a car, not a tourist. The DSI inspection of import car dealers has so far found at least 13 of those for sale in the capital were stolen in the UK, or at least reported stolen, and so now belong to insurance companies there. Owners of luxury cars that have been imported are recommended to have them checked by the DSI. And whether or not you do is irrelevant, as registration and tax will be blocked on any VIN numbers known to have been stolen. And of course, they now have all the dealer records.
Meanwhile at home and in Patio, and a 26-year-old Chinese man living here who filmed his nocturnal exploits with a Chinese businesswoman and then threatened to put them on the internet unless she paid, has been caught after she ran out of money to pay him and went to the police. They in turn gave her marked notes and once he took his latest demands was duly banged to right. On the dark side, businesses in Khao Noi and Soi Siam Country Club Road are more than a little fed up by the constant delayed roadworks. With both soys avoided by anyone who knows them, business is way, way down for all. And with many, either tenants or with mortgages, there's no good news on the horizon as the works continue at what appears to be a snail's pace. One business has told us that they will close this or next month as they simply can't cover their rent. And complaints have been made to City Hall that some of the repairs have seen roads blocked for two years. No takeaway of the Chinese here in Pattaya, it seems that they still come here in their droves. Kolan thrives along with many Pattaya businesses thanks to tourism from China, this according to TAT, who also noted the increase in Russian tourism after several years of a lull due to the failure of their currency. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 33 and a good chance of rain at some time, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and of course Pattaya, the city of fun. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Alastair Ross at BBC Sport and the deal has finally been confirmed. Arsene Wenger is staying at Arsenal for another two years. The new contract doesn't have a break clause and Wenger's told the fans he can improve the team. We can move up to the next level. I'm convinced of that by uh, having faith in the way we want to play football and uh, by supporting these players we have already. And of course, we'll try to strengthen even our squad uh, to be stronger next season. But uh, we want to be faithful to the way we want to play the game and we want to support this way altogether. Tony Adams was captain of Arsenal when Wenger joined the club and he is worried that Wenger could tarnish his legacy by staying. I just don't want it to end in tears, mm. you know, for his sake rather than anybody else's. You know, it's, it's a caring, constructive dad, brother advice that I'm kind of putting out there maybe he thinks that we can win the league in the next two years or he does think we'll get back into Europe but looking at this squad I don't think they can meanwhile former defender Martin Keown thinks it's time for the Gunners to implement a long-term plan there needs to be a 10-year plan that's put in place and he's only got two years to do it but he is that powerful and, and intelligent get the right people around him he won't see the benefits of those changes but it will leave a great legacy for the football club. And those are the sort of things that he, that he needs to put in place, put the right people in there now to take the club forward for the eventual changeover that will come in the future as somebody else comes to take his place. Elsewhere, Manchester City chairman Khaldun Al Mubarak says they're going for the quadruple next season. City finished third in Pep Guardiola's debut season as manager. And Romelu Lukaku's agent says Everton have promised a striker he can leave the club if certain clubs put in suitable bids. Mina Raiola says there are also no concrete talks with anyone at the moment. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Coming up next, fabulous food. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenki is the sports bar with more. And more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar with 50 TVs, including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match, day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide.
Our condos are already finished and ready for you to move in. Forget the hassles and the sleepless nights, your dream home is already built, fully furnished and ready to move in straight away at Jomtien Beach Penthouses. We offer a number of very reasonably priced one, two and three bedroom apartments for sale or for long-term rent. Just 80 meters from sandy beaches, Jomtien Beach Penthouses is in one of the most sought after and safest areas in all of Pattaya. Jomtien Beach Penthouses, your completed home in the sun. Hi guys, I'm Megan and you are watching Fabulous TV Pattaya. Today we are here about a 40 minute drive out of Pattaya City. We are here in Satahip at the Sea Turtle Conservation Centre at the Royal Thai Navy Base. The Sea Turtle Conservation Centre is located at the Air and Coastal Defend Command and is a very interesting attraction to visit if you're in the Satahip area. It was opened back in 1954 by the Royal Thai Navy to preserve the existence of Thai sea turtles. An objective of the establishment is to raise the turtles safely before returning them to their natural life. Every year there are several thousand sea turtles returned to their natural habitat. There are many ponds with turtles of all ages on show, ranging from one month to ten years. Nearby is a beautiful beach where the turtles are released every year. You can sit back and relax on the beach and have a spot of lunch or a coffee from the small restaurant and coffee shop. You'll have the opportunity to learn all about sea turtle life and the different types of Thai sea turtles. There's also a small aquarium with different types of turtles and beautiful fish. The Sea Turtle Conservation Centre is open daily from 8am until 5pm and with free entrance for both Thais and foreigners, it's certainly the perfect place to visit for a nice day out whilst visiting the Satahip area. Coming up next, Fit and Fabulous, your daily one-minute workout. Tonglor Clinic on Tapraya Road guarantees the utmost satisfaction for patients who want to look younger, feel better, and remain healthier. Our qualified doctors specialize in fillers, Botox, laser treatment, and cosmetic surgery, and use only authentic products. At Tonglor Clinic, your initial consultation is free and our prices include free follow-up visits for treatments received. Tonglor is fully licensed and has staff that speak Thai, English, German and French. Visit our website tonglorclinic.com for details. Tonglor, where your youth stays with you forever.
Hey guys, one of the things that I normally find with people who can't reach their fitness goals is that they aren't either working hard enough or they aren't working smart enough. If you're short on time but still have a specific fitness goal in mind related to fat loss or muscle growth, you must ensure you're training hard with high intensity. But that doesn't mean you don't train smart. High intensity doesn't mean high impact. Too much impact can cause injuries and or limit your success. So you can always do exercises like swimming or running barefoot in the sand, which are activities that can be very challenging and are also low impact, which means they're safe for the body. So make sure to get moving, you guys. So until next time, stay healthy, stay happy. Now it's all. Let's have a look at some of the special events and promotions coming up around Pattaya today and this coming week. Every Friday evening, the Avani Patia Resort hold their Earth Hour evening. Sit back and relax while enjoying a moonlight dining experience under the stars at their Sala Rim Nam Thai traditional restaurant. That's out by the Lotus Ponds with a Thai traditional feast. Every single Friday evening between 7 and 10 at the Avani Patia Resort on Patia's Second Road. Coming up at the Robin Hood Tavern on Saturday the 10th of June, be sure not to miss a night full of laughs and giggles. That's when they have a stand-up comedy evening, featuring the popular Chris Henry performing his latest exclusive show and joined by special guests. Buy your tickets in advance, it's only 600 baht each, or it's 800 baht on the door. Remember that Saturday the 10th of June, starting at 8. On every second Saturday of the month, enjoy a fun-filled day for the whole family at the Havana Bar at the Holiday Inn Patia. That's when they hold their farmer's market. Enjoy tasting, buying and sharing wholesome food products, beauty products and, of course, handmade arts and crafts. Why not take along your towel and have a dip in the pool? Entrance is completely free. The next one's coming up on Saturday, the 10th of June, from 10.30 in the morning. If you own a vehicle in Pattaya, or you don't want to take the risks of driving illegally without an official Thai driving license here, Always Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency can help with your needs. Located on Soilenki off Pattaya 3rd Road, consultations are absolutely free. Kickstart your Sunday the right way with a traditional Sunday carvery at Robin's Nest on Soy Diana. There you can choose from over five different meats with all the trimmings, cottage pie, meatballs and dessert. All for just 320 baht per person. That starts at 12 noon and goes on until they run out of food. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day and you can fill your boots at the Robin Hood Tavern Breakfast Buffet. Monday to Friday from 8.30 until 11.30 in the morning, traditional English and American breakfast, free flow orange juice, tea and coffee. And that's all you can eat for just 270 baht per person. Why not watch Fabulous TV Patio on your phone or laptop or tablet? It's a daily show with news, updates, and things to do right here in the city of fun. Visit tvpatio.com. Got cable TV? TMN? Check us out on the Cinema One channel. Five primetime slots a day, every day. Fabulous TV Patio. So good, you might want to watch it. Today's fabulous TV Patia is available for repeat and rewind at tvpatia.com.